millions of Americans could finally be receiving an even bigger monthly and even larger monthly benefit payment very soon. Top Democrats and Republicans are working together to help more Social Security beneficiaries and senior citizens financially during the crisis. I know many of you are wondering how you can boost your monthly Social Security benefit payments. Social Security retirement benefits have kept millions of seniors out of poverty. But while retirement benefits are well known and much anticipated, they are not, they are not the only kind of payments older Americans could be eligible for. It's best to understand all the different kinds of checks that you could potentially receive from the Social Security Administration so that you don't leave money on the table. Social Security retirement benefits are earned benefits. The amount you receive is based on your work history, with benefits calculated based on average wages during the 35 years when you made the most money over the course of your career. Your benefit amount is also based on your age and when you first filed claim benefits. You can start as soon as 62, but must wait until your designated full retirement age to receive your full standard benefit. You also have the option to wait to start benefits beyond your retirement age to earn delayed retirement credits that, re that increase retirement income. Retirement benefits are intended to replace about 40% of pre-retirement income, so they are not enough to live on by themselves, but can be a big help in covering your costs once you're no longer getting a paycheck. There are definitely steps you can take to enhance the amount of your retirement benefits. According to Social Security, experts claim early Experts say claiming early at age 62 will result in the permanent reduction of your Social Security check by up to 30%. Waiting until age 70, however, has the opposite effect. For every year that you delay claiming past full retirement age, your monthly benefits will get an 8% bonus. That amounts to a whopping 24% if you wait until age 70. Even if you never worked for, you may be eligible for spousal Social Security benefits. That amounts to a whopping 24% if you wait to file until age 70. Now, even if you never worked before, you may be eligible for spousal Social Security benefits, and these can reach as much as 50% of your spouse's benefit if you want to file if you want to file until full retirement age. Even if you're divorced, you may be entitled to spousal benefits if you're originally married for at least 10 years. Depending on your work history, it's very possible that you are entitled to a spousal benefit bonus that amounts to more than your own than your own Social Security payout. Every year, the Social Security Administration reviews benefit payouts and adjusts them upwards based on the current rate of inflation. In some years, like 2010 and 2016, the COLA was 0%, as inflation was essentially non-existent. But in January 2022, Social Security recipients received a big bonus in the form of a 5.8% COLA. Social Security beneficiaries could see another record cost of living adjustment in 2023. To calculate the COLA each year, the SSA compares consumer price index for urban wage earners and clerical workers from the third quarter to the third quarter of the prior year. If inflation subsides, subsides, there is the possibility of a lower adjustment or even no increase for next year or in 2024. Much of that will depend on how fast the Federal Reserve's efforts to tamp down inflation by rising interest rates take effect. One possibility is inflation becoming deflation when prices start going down. And according to Senior Citizens League, that points to a cost of living adjustment of 8.6%. Thanks for having me, Scott. So this, I, I get the fact that it's, you know, you're probably going to say, well, it doesn't increase shareholder value by doing a split. But you do open it up to a different class or a, a larger class of investors, do you not? Absolutely. So let's confess that there's no additional value to shareholders. It does, doesn't change the market cap. But it does introduce it to retail investors. And I'm a sucker for a good old-fashioned stock split. I mean, I love it. When I was a kid, Scott, I was fascinated by setting goals and savings. And my grandmother would take me to the bank with our little passbook savings and put in the, every deposit and the interest, which was great because it was free money. But you'd set a goal, $20, $30, $40. Then when I went to college, I tried to do that with direct investing, having a dividend reinvestment plan, send in $15, $20, $30 for the goal of trying to access a round lot of something. And I think the same thing holds true when you see a 20 for one stock split with Amazon or Alphabet, it makes it accessible to shareholders for sure, but it also introduces people to the value of savings mm. and investing as opposed to trading. Not only that, I mean, for somebody like you who makes options a considerable mm. part of your strategy, it kind of changes the game, too, in terms of accessibility for those kinds of trades. Institutionally wise, there's no question. I mean, for an option contract, we generally need a hundred share round lot. So at a quarter of a million dollars for a hundred shares of Amazon, it cut a lot of people out of the um, option market, whether it was to write a covered call or to introduce a protective put. So the beauty of this 20 for one stock split says that now a hundred share position. The country's largest retailer, Walmart, 
invites thousands of its top performing employees down to Arkansas for its big shareholder and associates week. Our Courtney Reagan joins us and she's enjoying, I would assume. Well, yeah, look, it's rocking there, Courtney. <laughs> Hi, David. Yes, you're right. It has been three years since Walmart welcomed associates from around the world. There's 14,000 of them here at the Bud Walton Arena behind me. John Baptiste is performing right now. James Corden is the musical guest. And while all of the events of the week are called shareholders, it really is more of a celebration for the associates and the work that they've done over the year. This week, the retailer did announce an expansion to its academy training programs and the addition of four new, more automated fulfillment centers, which will add 4,000 supplies chain jobs. And as the country's largest private employer with more than 1.6 million associates, Walmart has added a number of benefits from free college tuition programs to job training, as well as expanded health care benefits for its employees. But really, it's the pay that's the most critical for those entry-level associates. To start, Walmart hourly workers make $12 an hour. The company does say that on average, it takes about seven months to move up, enroll, and in pay. This week, CEO Doug McMillan and said the average hourly wage for store associates is more than $17 an hour. And we'll both have... Mr. Kaufman, thank you for, uh, for your testimony. Uh, Antonia, uh, uh, thank you for being here. I could barely see your lips move as you spoke. But uh, thank you. Uh, in the military, I spent a few years of my life, a lot of years of my life in the Navy. And we, uh, we always used to say that uh, the uh, spouse of the, uh, the, the, the member in uniform, the spouse of that person, uh, serves our country as well. So we thank you for your service and for sharing uh, with us uh, your 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 husband. And if your daughters, uh, is it Gabriel and is it Genevieve and is it, uh, Olivia, Olivia, if they're watching, uh, thanks for sharing your dad. Um, now we're start. We're ready to ask uh, questions of of our witness. And Senator Capito and I have agreed to two five minute rounds of questions with additional rounds that the question discretion of the chair. Uh, to begin uh, with this, as Mr. Kaufman will recall, this committee has three standing yes or no questions that it asks that we ask of all nominees who appear before us. So I'd like to ask you these questions. Question, do you agree, if confirmed, to appear before, before you leave? Let me just ask a question of Senator Bozeman. Senator Bozeman, before you leave, uh, a, qu a question of you, did, was there recently a, a primary held in, in your state in Alabama? And I understand, I understand as of about 10.05 last night, there was some good news. What was reported? You won your primary. Uh, that's right. Congratulations. We're happy for you and for your state. Thank you. And that none of your supporters was Senator Inhofe said one